Hey everybody and welcome back to another Let's Buy a Chateau video. Today's chateau is really special and I think you're really going to like it. It's restored. It's not just renovated. This place they're calling it a restoration. So keeping what was there and bringing it back to life. And I'm going to show you where this one is located. This is located in the town of Le Lyon d'Angers. So if you're familiar with France, here's your other picture of it. If you're familiar with France, you're going to see that um, it is in this area. We're going to zoom in so that you can tell. All right, so here is France as a whole. You can see where Paris is. The heart is going to show you where Angers is. So this is near Angers. So this, as you can see, this is the town of Angers. That's how it's spelled. Le Lyon d'Angers is just up the road a bit. That's where this is. That's where the chateau was located, somewhere in this town, Le Lyon d'Angers. Now, if you drive into Angers from here, what's what, maybe half an hour, I'm going to guess. Um, and then you can really hop on a train and get up to Paris in about an hour. So um, just to kind of give you some perspective on where we are looking, that's where it's located at. So. Um, enough about that. Let's talk about this chateau. It is set on 24 acres, and that's what you see some of here with the gardens. And um, when we advance the photo here, you're going to see a pond. Um, there are ponds on the property. There's lots of gardens, vegetable gardens, wooded space, um, quite a lot in front of it. And smack dab in the middle of it all, this gorgeous chateau. Now, once we go inside, I really am taken by the wood floors and there's sort of that herringbone pattern. They're just beautiful, gleaming, shiny floors. And I'm also, I can't, throughout the chateau, you're gonna notice, um, you can't ignore the moldings. So that's, you know, up along the crown moldings, essentially up along the ceiling from the wall to the ceiling how thick those are, how many layers of molding that that is. I have never seen one, a chateau or a home, this substantial with moldings. That's serious and really highlights, lifts, lifts your eye up and highlights how tall everything is. And of course, a beautiful centerpiece uh, are these gorgeous, massive crystal chandeliers. Look at how many lights go around and around. Just that first one um, lights the space just beautifully. And the wallpaper, everything in here just makes it just a peaceful salon, I believe it is. It's got a fireplace in there sitting and a piano. Lovely place to hang out, if I do say so. All right, we're gonna go on to the next photo here. This is a dining room and um, again, that same flooring is in here, some really tasteful wallpaper, uh, another chandelier, not quite as massive as in that salon. Uh, but the, the thing that notice, I noticed the most are, is that fireplace and the hearth and just how massive it is. And you can see those moldings really well here too, that crown molding from the space between the ceiling and the wall is just intense. Uh, pretty unique. I've never seen anything like that before and it continues in room after room. So you'll see in this room, this is uh, what is a library or study. And instead of a crystal chandelier, we just cat catch a glimpse of this really lovely brass chandelier, I'm guessing is what's in this room. Um, another just soft shade on the wall, just a lovely place to hang out. I, uh, I could read a book or two in there. Indeed, and the light, you know, with all of these, the doors and the windows, it, there's quite a bit of light. I'm also taken by, look at that door. Can you see that door? I don't know where it goes, but it's kind of just above my head. Take that door and compare it to the size of those bookcases. Those go up really, really high, huge. <laughs> All right, here's another room. The kind of, this appears to be sort of an entrance room to me because you can see the dining room there. You can see the stairs going up there and sort of a little landing. Um, just more beautiful woodwork. The paneling is just intense. It's so beautiful. And you can see 
that stair rail appears to be the one going up upstairs there appears to be all just carved wood i don't think that's any iron or anything of the sort i think it's all carved out that's amazing intricacy uh, here's one of the bedrooms and again light and bright renovated restored beautifully another glimmering chandelier in there um, there are four bedrooms on the second floor so in the u.s we've got first floor second floor so in france um, this would be the first floor what they would call the premier etage and all of these there's four bedrooms that have four that each have a bathroom attached and they've renovated all of those there's an extra bedroom that i guess is not done and then the upstairs has six more bedrooms that are also not done so there's always a little more work to do uh, but they've got four obviously this is one of them just gorgeous with the little you can see the doors flung open there that is leading outside onto a balcony probably overlooking your beautiful gardens laid out before you and here's the bathroom attached to this bedroom i believe they got a nice tub smack dab in the middle of the room you've got a couple of sinks you have dual sinks with some space between you and of course so much light coming in this is really just a magical bedroom or bathroom fitting for this home absolutely so when you take a look outside 24 acres of land and um all of it just set in this area of france uh, known as the the haute anjou region um and so there's a lot of chateau in this area so this this has certainly uh, got lots of friends nearby, but with 24 acres, you're not going to have anyone too close to you. I do love how you can see the staircase and how there are steps going on that back, bal that back balcony. Um, lovely. There's another shot that we'll take a look here where you can see that balcony uh, really, really well. Here's that pond, beautiful gardens. Can you imagine just taking a stroll down those little pebbles, the crunch? at your feet oh lovely lovely so this is the view from um, that terrace i guess you could call it overlooking the gardens we were looking from the opposite way of this uh, in that previous photo the doors leading to inside everything just really clean very well restored they have done an amazing job with this place and um, the cost for all of this land is four and the property four million one hundred fifty five dollars roughly when you convert it to us so for a little more than four million dollars you get all this space all this history there is a walled garden because you've got to have a walled garden also with a lovely little pond right at the middle of it um, there is there are some outbuildings as you see there there's a whole caretakers house that needs to be renovated yet so um, lots of work still to do amazing trees I mean it's just an absolute uh, oasis and this is another room that I think would be lovely for parties you could host weddings in here if you wanted to we've got the chandeliers and the beams and what I think is so special about Chateau in particular is You've got all these windows. Yes, it's functional for letting in light so that you can see what you're doing. Um, but with all this landscaping, it really draws you in. It brings the, everything from nature indoors. Um, it's just a beautiful connection, and I just think it's so sweet. So here's another outbuilding. This roof looks like it's in amazing condition. I know those could be expensive, replacing the slate roofs, um, but this one looks like it's a great shape. Maybe this was a stables, maybe a carriage house of some kind. Either way, um, really, really special place. Gorgeous. So that is uh, this property. You can see from the outside, it is large. The size of this place when you convert it is about approximately 6,561 square feet. So the average US home is approximately 2,500 square feet. So this is triple that. And this is a finished living space. I think it includes um, main floor, second floor, third floor. Gorgeous place. Beautiful, beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the tour of this week's Chateau. I have loved reading your comments, your feedback. Please feel free to send me some more. Let me know what you think of this property. How, how does it rank versus some of the others? 
Um, as always, you can check out other property tours uh, on this channel as I prepare to do them in person. These are sort of previews for when I go to France and actually shop for my own chateau for real for my family, which is coming um, 2024. The hunt will begin. So this is all in preparation for it. And you have to do your research if you're going to make a leap like this. So thank you for coming along and stick around for when we do this in person. Those are going to be some fun videos. So give me a like if you're along for the ride. Subscribe so you can stay tuned for what's to come. And um, yeah, stick around. I will see you uh, in the future next week for some more Let's Buy a Chateau videos. We'll see you then.